Okay, look how messy my desk is. I got too many mice and keyboards. But today we're gonna be fixing a bug using um, cursor, AI coding, just to demonstrate some of the shortcomings and limitations that AI coding has. Because when I first started using like the AI models to code, I thought it was over. Like I thought it was over for the old way of coding, but after I've used it for a while, it's not, it's not the end all be all, I'll say that. So, here is my screen, and I'm working on an iOS app. And it's basically a checklist, and you can add new items. So I'll add it something called new item, and you can group it into folders. So I'll add it to my app folder, and when I go to my folders, it's not in my app folder. Okay, simple bug. When I leave and go back, now it's in. So it just doesn't load in initially, so we have to fix this. Let's see how well Cursor can fix it. So we're going to give it some context files, so I'm going to give it the files that it needs to kind of understand what's happening. So now I'm going to explain the problem. When I create a new item in Easy List View, add it to a group, the manage group views doesn't update accordingly. Fix this. Now I'm pers purposely leaving it pretty generic to see how what it can do just with this kind of problem. So it's using a notification system, which isn't ideal. It claims to have fixed it. So let's run the code again and see if it works. Okay, new, new item. And then let's add it to our group, app. And let's see if our app folder, see it doesn't have the new, new item. It just has the old, new item that we made. So this didn't get properly added to the group. So basically the way the AI is working is it's kind of quickly reading over the code and getting enough context to understand the issue and then fixing it relative to that context. Now, when you're first creating an app, that's generally all you need. But once the app gets big enough, I mean, this app here already has like 30,000 lines of code. So it's a bit too much context to fully understand. And oftentimes when you try to fix things, the AI can be very destructive and it's also very suggestible, meaning that you can lead it down the wrong path. Okay, so I'll kind of explain why the bug is happening. So right now in our easy list, which is this list here, when we update things, we're not actually saving it to core data. And the reason we're not saving to core data is because instead we set a flag called has unsaved changes and we're saving at key moments. So essentially we're trying to save computation by not saving every time we update the checklist and only updating at certain times. The cursor model wasn't able to understand this, so I'm going to restore back and we're going to try to explain it better. So let's give it more context. Okay, so now we gave it more context. We said the reason this is happening is because the easy list view has a saving flag with only saves on view destruction. And its solution was to say every time we update the group here, if we look at the app, every time we update the group here, we save to the core data meaning it's writing to the disk of the phone. So now this is somewhat more computationally expensive. So if we look at our CPU here, now when we add an item to a group, look at the CPU usage just spike up right there, just for clicking a simple checkbox. Look at that spike. So if we spam it, let's see how bad we can get it to spike. We spam it. We can get up to about 100% CPU usage. So what does this what does this all mean? Basically, at the end of the day, you still need to have some understanding of how the code works, but you don't need as much syntactical knowledge or specific knowledge on a particular language. Also, there's certain aspects that require trade-offs and decision making. Like, are you willing to make your code more complex to save computation, right? And the example here, Cursor didn't take into account the computational cost of its update. It didn't even think to do that. So at the end of the day, you still have to be making some decisions and directing the AI intelligently. And yeah, that's all I gotta say.